In the previous tutorial, we could see how the model validation tool is used and how useful it can be to detect potential issues in an early phase. In this session, I want to show out some powerful tools to detail the road model with a bus stop and a specific rounding for an intersection. To achieve that, we need to adjust the model to certain limitations. These limitations can be any 2D or 3D polyline that we first need to identify as a new axis. For this example, I prepared a composite element from lines and arcs that should be used to limit the road structure. With the command axis takeover, any polyline can be taken over as a new axis. For every new axis element, it is possible to specify the planning direction. In the axis manager, the new axis is automatically created. As always, a reference surface can be defined for the axis. In this case, it is not urgently necessary since we only want to use it for the horizontal limitation of our road. After the takeover of a composite element to an axis, the new axis is initially not editable with the common horizontal and vertical alignment editors. Only after executing the command convert axis type and performing the alignment conversion from segments to elements, the horizontal alignment can be modified in the next step. The axis is then editable with the common horizontal alignment editor by elements. With a double click on one of these elements, the properties of the element can be modified. We also see that the last line element of the axis is very long. The length of this last element from the element axis can be modified in the axis manager. After restarting the horizontal alignment editor, we can directly see that the length of the last element is updated according to the settings. We also execute the axis takeover command to convert the curvature lines in the area of the intersection and we rename the newly created axis in the Axis Manager. Once a line has been converted to an axis, it can be used as a reference for further structural detailing. With the commands horizontal, respectively vertical limits, a reference point from the road cross-section can be chosen to align the structure to the new axis. It is also possible to modify the calculation mode which allows defining the condition when the limit calculation should be executed. In this example, we use the strategy to adjust the structure to the exact limitation line. After applying the limit for the creation of the bus stop, the result can directly be seen in the model. The same procedure we also execute for the first draft of the intersection. Thank <laughs> you.